Dan Willis here, and we're talking about credit card judgments and specifically your three options to deal with this. Now, first is to fight it, and this is going to be like an appeal, and this is going to require you to file a motion to vacate the judgment at your courthouse. And this can happen for a number of like procedural errors or if the debt isn't truly legitimate. Much more here in just a second. But once you file your motion to vacate, you're going to need to have a reason. And just as an example of a reason, Midland Funding is a large collection agency. Just a few years ago, <laughs> they were caught because they were suing. I mean, this was one of those late stage collection agencies who practiced filing lawsuits against consumers. And one of their employees testified in court to fraudulently signing 200 up to 400 affidavits per day. And if you're not familiar, the affidavit is the evidence that's used against you in court to verify that debt, to say, yes, you're legally responsible. In other words, they were totally fraudulent lawsuits. Now, the other thing, debt collectors will file a lawsuit primarily because they know that over 90% of the people, of consumers, won't even show up to defend themselves. In this case, they automatically, by default, win. So it's easy to sue somebody if you're 90% sure that you're going to win by default, even if you don't have a full, legitimate, 100% case, all the evidence. If you know they aren't going to show up and the evidence isn't even going to be heard, it's easy to sue them. You know you're going to win. And if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Now, assuming there are some procedural errors, the debt's not right, once you file your motion to vacate, and there are two common reasons to do this, you weren't properly notified of your court date, you should receive a summons, a court summons. If you didn't receive that, or if you weren't properly notified of, it, of your court date, and you can prove that, then you have a good chance of having your judgment vacated. And if your judgment is vacated, that doesn't mean the lawsuit disappears, it just means the finding what the judge favored, that case disappears. The other big reason is the statute of limitations. This is a state law and it applies to the overwhelming majority of types of consumer debt. And here's the thing, with a credit card, for example, in most states, you're only legally responsible for payment for about seven years from that first date of delinquency. That first date of delinquency happened with the credit card issuer way back when, before the collection agency, before the judgment, before any of this other stuff got involved. So what happens a lot is collection agencies will sue consumers for debt that's aged past the statute of limitations. And the crazy thing is they win a lot. Often they win because these collection agencies know consumers are not going to show up to defend themselves. It's imperative, even if it's a legit lawsuit, please show up because you're only helping yourself by appearing and having a chance. And if your debt is past the statute of limitations, that is a good, valid, legitimate reason to have your judgment vacated. The judge will find in favor of you. And if you'd like to know more, we have a free report available at our website, The 7 Proven Ways to Boost Your Credit Score. Link in the description below. Sign up and grab it. And the last two methods for dealing with this credit card judgment is to satisfy the judgment. In other words, pay it off. And here's the key. While they have a judgment against you, and they, by all means, do have you by the short and curlies, you do still have a little bit of room to negotiate. You should be able to negotiate a little bit to reduce the debt since you are making payment. All they have is a piece of paper. It's standard practice for them to accept a settlement for less. They won't have tons of wiggle room, but there will be a little bit, so you should be able to negotiate a little bit. Even if you set up a payment uh, schedule where you're making payments, they're going to be willing to negotiate a little bit. And uh, the last option is bankruptcy. Look, life's messy. If you're in just a really tough situation, that is an option. And we should also share there's a thing called judgment proof, and this is for like a little old 83 year old lady. The idea being, if I get a, or if a credit card company gets a judgment against a little old lady, it's we as society society are not okay with that credit card company to come in and collect that judgment debt by seizing that little old lady's house and making her homeless. 
judgment proof is if you're really poor and you just, you know, you're a little old lady that has social security payments type thing. But that is just something you should be aware of. So if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll free 1-877-418-7596. Again, that's for a free credit consultation and the toll free phone number is 1-877-418-7596. This is Dan Willis. We're going to include a link in the description below over to an article on our website for the full story about dealing with credit card judgments. We also have a free report available there, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. Please subscribe and join our congregation because coming up next, we're going to be talking about how to remove judgments from your credit report, and that's key to getting a better credit score. So, of course, subscribe and join our congregation. Have a wonderful day. Looking forward to talking to you again here soon.